Welcome to Enots Engineering, I'm Alan. In today's video we continue with the Hemingway sensitive knurling tool. This is part two. We're making some more of the arms that hold the knurling wheels and the cam that adjusts the knurling sensitivity. In the workshop today it's about 27 degrees so I'm not spending too long in there. Uh, just a quick note that my workshop is mainly tooled by metric tooling, drills, reamers. So most of the holes that I'll be drilling are in metric or reamed in metric. And I'll be adjusting the components that fit into those holes to suit. So let's go into the workshop, see how we do it. This is the first of the two arms. And what I want to do is zero on the end. Come in, drill three holes, and then mill the cutout here. Now I need to move in two millimetres, which is half the diameter. Zero again. Now I need to move in two millimetres which puts the centre of the probe on the edge of the metal. And move around to the side. And now touch on the side of the metal and set that to zero. Zero more white. Now I've zeroed on the end, zero on the side, so this corner is my zero zero position. So I've moved it in, the diameter of the hole I'm going to make plus an eighth for the radius on the end, and I've moved it in to the centre, and now I'm spotting the whole center reset my zero position to that center of the drill spot so now I'm going to move down to the next hole which is one and three quarters five eighths from the outside. Now I need to mark the position of the next hole down here. I'm drilling and reaming all of these holes to six millimeters. Now I'm removing some of the material with a 10mm diameter end mill. The holes on the left and the right will be the pivot point to turn the 3-8 radiuses and I have to open up the hole in the middle which is right on the edge of the material. And I'll machine the other arm exactly the same. We'll now move over to the lathe. I'm starting off making the upper pivot. Um, first problem I have is my four jaw chuck the jaws won't tighten up close enough to hold the material. 
so I can't use the material supplied so what I'll do is use a bigger piece of silver steel and turn it down. I've now set the silver steel and it's running out to a couple of thou but down this end six thou run out and now I'll turn this down to three eighths of an inch I have my bar at three eight diameter so I need to push it over one thirty second which is thirty one thou I'll set the dial indicator to zero I want to push it thirty one thou over so I'll slacken the back jaw off move it over five ten twenty that's thirty one so in the back jaw up again so that should give me sixty thou run out So from 30, there's 50, 55, 60, 1, 63,000, I'm not worried about 3,000, that's tight. So now I need to turn down the two end diameters. Just coming up to position on my digital readout. I'm using the blue to tell me if the bar is machined all the way round. Just get rid of this little phrase on the end. Well, that's half of it done. Now we come in and cut this this part here. To do that, I need to turn my tool round. I'm going to have enough room on here. Going to be very close to the chuck. Total length needs to be one and three quarter. No, I'll have to move it out of the chuck. I've pulled it out the chuck and now I've zeroed this diameter so I can cut the other side. Coming down to here, set my readout to zero. I'll put the cut on here and travel in towards the chuck.
get the smallest reading. Four point four nine nine five. It's half a thou under. I don't want it bigger because then the cam may lock up on the two outside plates. So all I need to do now is take this phrase off, polish it up, and then part it off. I've fitted my parting off tool. All I have to do is part this off. I've put some white paper underneath so you can see the gap easy and if you've got a good eye you can get down to about half a thou with the gap between the tool and the part. I've also set the tool at a slight angle so it should part off on the cam side of the part. Brush on some oil. Before I part it all the way off, I just want to run the foil on the edge to give me a chamfer. Take the sharp edge off. Well that part's nearly finished, all it needs is a hole drilled across the end of the shaft that accepts the handle. Oh well, that's it for today. We'll finish off the two knurling arms in the next episode. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time on Enots Engineering. <laughs>